Hey, Cop Train, Open 21.1's been announced. Let's dive on in. So, each week, much like last year, we're gonna open things up with themes for the workout and then give three buckets. So, themes are overarching, they apply to everybody. The buckets are three different ways we can attack this workout. And I bet one of those three you're gonna draw some parallels to, it's a starting point for you. So, let's go with themes first. Now, for themes, three big things I'd love to keep in mind the whole time with you. Number one is respect the volume. Number two, respect the standard. Number three, respect the movement, the wall walk. So respect the volume, number one. It's very easy, it's sucked into up ladders. And that's what this workout is. The up ladder of, it's, it's very easy to think, hey, I can do this first set or the second set I'm broken, I'll just go ahead and do it. That's where it catches up to you as Round three, round four, things slow down fast. Think, end in mind, 55 reps wall walk, 550 reps double unders. That's the more important number to keep in mind. So respect the volume. Number two, respect the standard. The wall walk is specific. This is new to us. And yeah, it's a pretty simple movement, get up, get down, but practicing this and getting it down to scientific clockwork is the way to go. You guys know it best when we find a movement pattern that just happens, we can turn our mind off and just do work. We can focus on our pacing and not trying to fight through this awkward new thing. So it's worth the practice reps so that we don't have any no reps. It's the most costly no rep, likely in the open that we'll see. Let's really respect the standard. Number three is respect the wall walk. And inside the wall walk, we got two things to keep in mind, two micro themes, if you will. Number one is repeatability. Number two is sustainability. So we went back and we looked at uh, Carrie Pierce's wall walks. She's very efficient. And high fives and headbutts to her for just jumping into the workout. With that said, if she could go back in time, she would have changed her pacing on the front to the back. The first 20 reps took her about three minutes. I'm sorry, it took her about two minutes. The last 20 reps took about three minutes. So 50% slower on the back end of the reps. So we need both repeatability, dialed in, mechanics, it's clockwork, but also sustainability across the whole 55 reps. So that's the goal. Sustainability and repeatability. Buckets, let's dive on in. So the three buckets this week is going to be separated by the movement style. So bucket number one is knees plus breaks. So step number one is we're going to come to our knees. We're going to take away the push-up. You guys know it, it's gonna be a shoulder heavy workout, shoulder intensive, let's take away the push up, up to our knees, and then go up the wall. The second part of that is we're taking breaks in between. Now it's a 15 minute effort, we got 55 reps, we want a tactical pause in between where we're shaking out the arms so that we sustain ourselves. Bucket number two, same movement, same mechanics, but we're not taking a long break in between. Maybe it's a shorter rest on the ground. Bucket number three, this is our fastest style. This is where hips lead the way, I'm standing in front of it. Hips lead the way. Now it's our fastest movement. It's blending that two together. Up with our hips and pressing through our arms. However, that's a push up. That will add up. And this again is a 55 rep or a 15 minute workout. We need our efficiency. So maybe the fastest range of motion, but what's the most efficient with that end in mind? So practice makes perfect. Let's get in there, let's get the reps in so this movement is second nature to us, or as close to second nature as possible. So head to the app, go check out the, the full write-up, the full description, because Coach Jarrett, Coach Tori, we're diving into how to do these three very different, because minutia matters, wall walks. Well, let's go get it.